China's naval modernization has taken another major step forward, and this time it's happening on the decks of its large amphibious ships. New imagery from November 2025 strongly suggests that the Type 071 landing dock ship Kilian Shan, hull number 985, is now equipped with the LY-1 high-energy laser system. This makes it the second ship in the class to receive the weapon, following its sister ship, Siming Shan, number 986. What really stands out is the new rigid rectangular enclosure seen on Kilian Shan. Unlike the soft protective dome used on the first installation, this updated housing hints that China has moved from experimental testing to a more mature, standardized naval configuration for routine operational use. The likely installation of LY-1 on Kilian Shan marks a broader shift in China's amphibious fleet. It follows the public debut of the land-based LY-1 turret mounted on an 8x8 vehicle during the September 2025 parade in Beijing. The growing number of sightings makes one thing clear. China is expanding its integration of high-energy laser weapons across multiple platforms, and the Type 071s are becoming key early hosts for these directed energy systems. These ships, large, multi-role amphibious transport docks with well decks, helicopter facilities, and the capacity to carry hundreds of troops, are exposed to a wide range of drone threats during operations near contested coastlines. The Navy appears to be strengthening their inner layer defenses, reducing reliance on missiles and guns during saturation drone attacks. The LY-1, also known as Liao Yuan-1, is designed to destroy or disable small UAVs, loitering munitions, helicopters, and even subsonic cruise missiles at short ranges. China describes the weapon as a final defensive layer in a multi-tiered system that already includes long-range HHQ-9C, medium-range HQ-16C, and short-range HQ-10A missiles. Instead of wasting interceptors on low-cost threats, LY-1 uses sustained laser energy to burn through sensors, melt critical components, or degrade structural parts of incoming aerial systems. That makes it especially valuable in scenarios involving repeated drone incursions. Engagement ranges are believed to reach into the tens of kilometers, with some assessments suggesting more than 20 kilometers under ideal conditions. Technically, LY-1 operates in the 180 to 250 kilowatt range, though some estimates push the naval version into the 200 to 300 kilowatt class depending on the ship's power capacity. The turret features a notably large circular aperture almost twice that of the U.S. Navy's Helios laser, allowing tighter beam focus. Optical and infrared sensors surround the main emitter, likely supported by radar or passive RF receivers. Internally, the system uses multiple fiber laser modules combined through spectral beam combining, improving efficiency and easing thermal management. Adaptive optics correct for atmospheric turbulence and ship movement, while a shared aperture system helps track reflected light from targets. Even with these technologies, the laser remains sensitive to environmental factors like fog, rain, or aerosol density, which is why it supplements rather than replaces conventional ship defenses. For the Type 071 ships themselves, integrating LY-1 requires redesigning some of the close-in weapon zones, strengthening internal power distribution, and ensuring adequate cooling. The updated rigid enclosure on Kilian Shan suggests improvements in maintenance access and environmental protection. The class's overall layout around 20,000 tons displacement, a length of 210 meters, well decks for landing craft and flight decks supporting multiple helicopters, makes it one of the few platforms with enough room, power, and cooling to host a system like LY-1 at this early stage of China's deployment. The decision to equip amphibious transport docks first makes strategic sense. These ships often operate closest to hostile coastlines during troop landings, where they face swarms of reconnaissance drones, targeting platforms, and loitering munitions. Their survival depends on a defense network capable of handling dozens of small, fast, low-cost threats. With LY-1, the ships gain the ability to engage such targets repeatedly without worrying about ammunition limits. Combined with missiles, guns, and jammers, the laser becomes another layer in a dense defensive web designed to shield the vessel and its embarked forces. 
With the system now visible on both Qilian Shan and Siming Shan, China appears to be moving toward wider adoption across the Type 071 fleet. And the lessons learned here could shape future installations on larger combatants, including, potentially, the Type 055 destroyers. The trend mirrors the growing global interest in directed energy weapons as navies search for cost-effective solutions to counter mass drone attacks. China's leap toward operational laser deployment on major amphibious ships signals how seriously it views the evolving threat environment and how quickly laser systems are becoming a practical part of modern naval warfare. Subscribe for more update.